Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video, I will be talking about the Auckland Island Rail, small and extremely secretive birds known from only two islands in the subantarctic. I hope you enjoy. Auckland Island Rails, also known by the shortened term of Auckland Rail, are small birds with a reddish brown neck and head, with their upper parts being olive brown with sparse dark streaks. Both of the sexes similar in appearance, although the females appear slightly duller in colour. At lengths of around 20 centimetres and weights of around 90 grams, they are also very small, and alongside the secretive behaviour, it means that to this day, not a whole lot is known about them and their habits. Their closest relatives are in the genus Lewinia to which they belong, that's which includes the Lewins row of Australia, which are very similar in appearance, although they are a bit larger. They are therefore somewhat of a biogeographical anomaly, as they are the only species in their genus to have reached the islands in and around New Zealand, and appear to have skipped over the main islands to reach the remote Auckland Islands group to which they are located. The subantarctic Auckland Islands are located 460 kilometres south of the main islands, and are the only place where the rails can be found, with them currently being restricted to two islands in the Auckland group, Adams Island having a size of 10,119 hectares, and Disappointment Island around 395 with both of them having never had established populations of introduced mammals. The population of around 1,500 is currently stable, although for many years it wasn't even known if they were alive or not. Because of their secretive nature and small population, they were considered to be extinct for many years after their discovery in the second half of the 19th century, going undetected between 1893 and 1966, when they were rediscovered on Adams Island and in 1993 on Disappointment Island. They must have originally occurred on all of the islands in the group, but vegetation changes caused by both pigs and predation by cats eliminated them from the main Auckland Islands, with the former presence of cattle, mice and rabbits potentially explaining their absence from Enderby Island. 95% of their population occurs on the larger Adams Island, something that is the case due to its larger size and more varied vegetation consisting of tussocks, megaherbs and sedges, being seen from sea level up to 450 to 500 metres of elevation, being more oftenly heard than seen. The reproductive biology is little known, although from the few nests that have been found, they lay clutches of two eggs around early November, with them being cream colours with red, brown and grey spots. The nests that house said eggs are woven of grasses and sedges, being made about 20 centimetres above the ground, and being concealed from above by vegetation. There are conflicting reports about their ability of flies, with early accounts suggesting they could, although more recent researchers have found little evidence of this, and if they do, they do so very infrequently and or poorly. They are currently classed as vulnerable due to their small and remote range, but they are currently stable, at least for the time being. There is indeed a risk that many of the previously established mammals might eventually cross the narrow gap between the main Auckland Islands and Adams Islands, potentially leading to their local extinction there, alongside the risk that rats might arrive on the islands from an illegal landing or shipwreck. The Auckland Islands as a whole are nature reserves with strictly controlled areas, and therefore have limited access, and alongside this protection, a restoration and eradication program is in place, which could mean that they may eventually be reintroduced to the main islands. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you're now able to vote for the South and North Island stout legs Wrens, the largest of the endemic New Zealand Wrens that's due to their larger size, were hence more vulnerable to extinction once people arrived. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.